Hello, this is Bob Dickinson of Innovice. We're going to continue our discussion about the St. Finant solution inside of SWIM 5. In the previous video, we talked about the fact that there's three depths of four areas in each link of the model. In addition to, to the three depths and three areas, there's also additional information. For example, we have our um, have the uh, upstream hydraulic radius, downstream hydraulic radius, and the weighted hydraulic radius, along with the um, along with the um, other information. So before we saw that there's uh, three different water depths, now we're going to show that there's there's three different um, hydraulic radiuses. So click on this, and you can see how the hydraulic radius. Here's the upstream one. Here's the uh, weighted one, which is the midpoint, again weighted by the Froude number, and then there's the downstream hydraulic radius. So since the hydraulic radius is a function of the cross-sectional area um, and the wetted perimeter, it has a very different behavior than the um, cross-sectional area. In addition, um, this QAQC program shows the different components of the St. Fanon equation. Uh, we have a list of DQ1, DQ2, DQ3, DQ4, DQ5. Uh, DQ2 is the, um, uh, the hydraulic gradient. DQ1 is the friction slope. And 3 or 4, the nonlinear term. And uh, DQ5 is the um, entrance X losses and other terms. So if you, if you graph those, you can see the different, um, different changes. So what, when, you're, when you're modeling a flow, What's actually changing is these terms, and as the terms change, the flow changes. So you can see mo most of the time they're in balance, and then eventually when um, they're, they're totally in balance, uh, the flow is zero. When it's a little bit out of the balance, the flow is either increasing or decreasing. So that's a little bit about the uh, St. Fanon equation. All right, so thank you for listening, and I hope you learned a little bit about how the St. Fanant is uh, computer at least graphed inside of SWIM 5 and also the fact that there's multiple hydraulic radiuses, multiple cross sections, and multiple depths inside of a link. Thank you.